Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 14 of Let's Platinum Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to this lady here first, and then we'll talk to Shirakuma. Um, hello. Yeah. What a rude woman. Not so friendly, is she? Well, sorry about that. <laughs> you heard that? I have sharp ears. I can even hear things I don't want to hear. It's a pain. If you two plan on staying here, it might be better if you cover your ears as much as possible. Because eventually, you'll get sick of it. Sick of it? I can't really get along with the people here. If you're so unsatisfied with this place, why don't you just leave? Well, that's a good point. Staying here isn't going to improve the situation any. But what I can accomplish by myself is limited. Since that's the case, I'm better off being here. Uh, that wristband! Your wristband's the same too, right? This is my first time meeting an ally. Are you a target in those brats game too? Yeah. How about that? Of all people, I can't believe I was turned into a toy for those kids. Um, are there others like us who have wristbands on them? Well, I'm not sure about the precise number. But there are plenty. The others are somewhere in this town, probably shuddering in fear. If possible, I want to save them and bring them here. Save? You? No, of course not me personally, but some of the adults here. Listen, everyone other than Shirakuma isn't allowed outside, but they can sneak out. Actually, Sometimes I have adults bring back cigarettes from the outside. I can't believe they actually listen to you. It's not hard. I use a woman's special charm. It's especially effective in situations like this. Of course, you girls aren't full adults yet, so you won't be able to really use your charm. I yeah. But anyway, that's the gist of it. If you ever see someone with a wristband or clues, let me know. We have to save them before they get killed off by the brats. Yeah, understood. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot. The name's Hiroko Hagakure. I'm once divorced and currently single. My age is a secret. My name is Komaru Naegi. Pleased to meet you. Uh, Hagakure? What a surprise. Doesn't seem like the older sister. Maybe the mother? The one muttering over there. What's your name? It's Toko Fukawa. Okay, noted. You're Coco and Fufu. W why did you use my last name? Who cares? Worrying over little details is bad for the skin, hon. Jeez, half-assing it. You two are definitely related. <laughs> Alright, so in case you couldn't piece it together, this is Yasuhiro's mother from the first game. You know, the surfer dude who kind of talks like this. <laughs> yeah, alright, so the way um, Hagakure or Hiroko works is you basically have to hand in these hit lists to her and then she gives you a little bit of dialogue on them. So let's do that for all four of the ones we have currently. Hit the lists. Um... About this. Hmm. Oh, don't tell me. You're right. Yeah, it's exactly what you think it is. A hit list made by those kids for hunting down targets. Um... I picked it up on my way here. One of the children must have dropped it. <sighs> One minute they're going around killing adults, the next they're dropping their homework. Pretty creepy, but definitely childlike. But... It's beyond creepy. It's psychotic. It's like baking a delicious cake only to take pictures of it instead of eating it. Mm. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. Mm. Um, setting aside the cake for now, let's take a look at the list. Okay, hand over Taka Kicks. Hey, hey! Well, I'll be damned. I never thought this guy would be in the town. In town. Yes? Do you know him? No. Nah, it's not like that. Look, read this. 
If this is true, the guy's father is the former prime minister. Hmm. I bet those brats just made that up. Jeez. You two don't remember? There really was a prime minister named Toronusuke Ishimaru. He was a genius, but didn't do well in school. Despite that, he became the prime minister. But, but in the end, a scandal ruined him, probably smothered by his own talent. I see. That could be why he was such an uptight idiot. No. But the problem is Takaki Ishimaru. I heard about him a little too. There was a big stir about him being a cop after his dad got caught. Folks wanted him fired. Now to top it off, he gets caught up in this hunt? How unlucky can one guy be? I hope he's safe, at least. I feel for him, even if he is 5-0. Uh, no, even if he is 5-0. That's neither here nor there. Leave it to me. Toa Science Memorial, huh? Alright, I'll send rescue guys right away. Correct. We'll leave it to you. I'm sure he's afraid being all by himself. It's gonna be alright. Leave it to me. I'd give him the shirt off my back if he wanted. And with my charm. <laughs> alright. It's interesting. So, Taka and Yasuhiro is... Oh, well, Taka's mum and... No, Taka's dad and Yasuhiro's mom. <laughs> Hand over Gontakarus. Interesting uh, first part of that name, Gonta. For those who know, you know. <laughs> For those who don't know, you'll find out eventually. Maybe not in this game. <laughs> hey Toko, look at this. It says Crazy Diamond, right? Is that like a band or something? No. Hmm, I'm not sure. Doesn't sound familiar. Really? Hmm? Doesn't sound familiar? You don't recognize it at all? You're right. I feel like I've seen this before, but I don't quite remember where. <laughs> Crazy Diamond? They're a bike gang. Um... A bike gang? You're right! Ah, uh, you're right! You're amazing, Miss Hagakure! How did you know? No. Don't be impressed. It wasn't clairvoyance or anything, I just remembered the name. The Crazy Somethings. Are they famous? You already forgot what they're called? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy Diamond was the name of the biggest and fiercest biker gang in all Japan. This Ruru guy must have been pretty skilled if he's an elite in that group. I see. I knew it. This captive is definitely connected to that guy. This is Mondo Awada in the first game. But more importantly, he sure does look cute for an elite commander. If only I were 10 years younger, I would have gone to save him myself on my bike. <laughs> Amazing! Wow, Miss Hagakure from 10 years ago! You must have been super cool beating up criminals all day! No. Oh, stop it, Coco. I was one of those criminals. The cops couldn't count on two hands how many windows I broke in the day. Why would they have to count with their fingers? <laughs> Leave it to me. <laughs> Alright then, I guess I better send out the order to go save that kid. <laughs> okay. Let's go for the next one. We're gonna do Kanon Dosu. And over Canon Dosu, yes. Okay, we've already read that, so we'll just skip it. Ooh, damn, this girl's a super hottie. <laughs> I admire girls like her. She looks like a manga heroine. Or a manga heroine. G girls with faces like that are cheating. They're just piling on makeup. 100 out of 100 of them do that, and it's been that way for 100 years. <laughs> hmm. In the file, it says she doesn't wear a lot of makeup. Don't mess with the, me! The kids are probably just lying. They can't tell anyway. Hmm? Why do you care if she wears makeup? She's cute, isn't that enough? <sighs> I hate girls who look like her. As an ugly girl, it frustrates me when I see girls covering up with makeup. If you're ugly, be proud of it, damn it. That's the ugly girl way. Be proud! It's gonna be alright. Oh, come on, Toko. You mean Fufu? <laughs> You can't let that bother you. There's more to a woman than her face. What's going on? Th that's not encouraging at all. <laughs> I bet if this girl were a team manager, those guys would be really pumped up to win. W what kind of idiot would try hard at sports just to impress some hot girl? <laughs> Actually, I know one. <laughs> hmm. hmm, an acquaintance of yours? Nothing. N not really. H who cares? <laughs> well, high school boys are like that. They can live a whole month on nothing more than porn, fried chicken, and manga. <laughs> Could it be? So, does Makoto also? Yeah. No doubt about it. It's true of every high school boy in the whole damn world. But back to the point. 
Looks like our hunting grounds are unknown. Leave it to me. I'll help you out. I'll convince some of the adults here to help look for her. Convince? Looks like adults aren't any different than high schoolers sometimes. <laughs> um, that was Leon's uh, companion, or, you know, known person. And now Utah for Aoi. Ah, uh, Rip, Rip Utah. Hmm. Why the long face? Before we picked up the list, we met Yuta. Hmm. Oh, how's he doing? Why isn't he with you? Hmm. Yuta died. The wristband is built to explode if you try to get outside Toa City. He didn't know that and he tried to swim out. Exploded. Died. Unforgivable. Dude. That's just unforgivable. Huh? Dude. <laughs> what the? An innocent kid losing his life to some crazy ass kids? No matter what you think, it shouldn't be allowed. Uh, hey, Miss Hagakure? Unforgivable. They might be kids, but they're gonna get their just desserts. Actually, they're just deserts. <laughs> Which is, I don't know why they wrote that one wrong. It will cost them at least a finger. I know I misspelled it in my, not my most recent post, community post, but my one at the beginning of the year. <laughs> I misspelled it as well. I changed it later. Uh, it will cost them at least a finger. What's going on? Uh, I'm sorry. You said you you were a former delinquent. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Meek. <laughs> hey, Miss Hagakure. Just kidding. Oops, my past self came through a little bit there. That was totally not a little. <sighs> but more importantly, that's just terrible. An explosion, huh? Poor guy. Um... You'd have tried to get help for all of us. If he... If he never met us, he wouldn't have... <laughs> it's not your fault, Coco. All boys really want to do is act cool in front of girls. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I was just... It's just hard to think about. I'm fine. It's gonna be alright. Hey, it's fine. If you're gonna be down, you should go as far as you'd like. The more down you are, the easier it is to stand up a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> the older the wiser, huh? If he really is a blood relative, I wonder if that occult idiot might actually grow useful. Mm -hmm. Did you say something, Toko? Nothing. N nope, just talking to myself. <laughs> I feel like she said exactly what, like, uh... Yes, a hero would say. Also, oh, I was gonna say, it's really annoying that she doesn't have the uh, wristband on her, but she does. But she doesn't have the gun on her in this in this thing. And you can see how afraid she is. Take note of that for later, viewers. All right, let's uh, talk to Shirakuma here. So, Gosh, that went for a while. Here is so nice. There's nothing to worry about, right? If these irritating cowards are nice people, <laughs> this world must not be made up of bad people. And that stranger danger warning would no longer be needed. Wow, such an amazing world. That's the epitome of my ideal. I was being sarcastic. Well then, it's about time we went back to the important stuff. This place is used as a conference room, so let's talk inside. Here, come in. He's not here. He's usually here, though. Who's not here? The leader of the Resistance. I wanted to introduce you guys to him. Can you wait here a little while? I'm sure he'll be back soon. Leader? He's probably some old geezer who thinks he can run the show. I won't hold my breath. What kind of leader would a pitiful place like this even have? Definitely a useless old man. If he really is a superior man, he would be in a superior organization. Just like Master. And you shouldn't have high expectations either, Omaru. Expectations? What kind of expectations? Okay. So before moving on, we can now head over here. There's four lockers that we can examine and each of them will give us a collectible, which is really good. So here we can get the quick fire skill. 
here we can find this notebook. Shurikum brought in three new people. I feel happy, but at the same time scared. I wonder how many adults are killed above ground. How many of them got saved? How many bodies are lying there? Thanks to the newbie screaming, sleepless nights continue. From what I can tell in his dream, his friend his friend gets killed by kids and he screams out. I can under I can kind of understand how he, f how he feels. I can't blame him. The newbie finally broke. Even though he's a grown adult, he ended up acting like a newborn baby. He lost against his nightmares to the kids. Looking at the scenery forces me to realize that even though I'm here, I couldn't run. Every time a newbie is brought in, my despair increases. I can't even run, nor forget. The children will kill us all. This is pretty intense. Just reading it makes me dizzy. Okay, not sure why that one didn't have the uh, the name of it, and I think this next one will be the same, uh, and maybe even the last one. But it's called um, Adults Memoirs One. And I also don't know why they used um, the PlayStation buttons to signify that. So let me have a quick look here. Or Memoir of Adult, whatever. It's yeah. Interesting. I wonder if that is something. Circle X, circle triangle, circle square. <laughs> Circle X, circle, triangle, circle, square. Nope. <laughs> Some kind of random code. Alright, this is the second part. Uh, adult memoir, Adults Memoirs 2 or Memoir of Adult 2. Everyone is dead. Everyone got killed. The sound of the chanting, the screaming like dogs being choked never leaves my ears. Everyone got killed. Everyone got killed. Devils. They're devils in the bodies of children. Damn devils. Damn devils, damn devils, damn devils, damn devils, damn devils, damn devils. I want to grind down your organs, your heart, liver, your kidneys, everything into dust. I want to throw you all into a blender and turn you all to sloshy livestock feed. I want to stab your eyeballs with a pencil until I can write with your blood. I want to boil, boil you alive in a pressure cooker until your screams stop. I want to squeeze your little bodies until blood leaks from every pore on your skin. I want to slash open the wombs of the mothers that birthed you and stuff you back in. Oh, that last one rhymed, and was disgusting. The, the writing's really sloppy after this. I can't read it. Th that's quite a poetic style they have there. Okay, and let's have a look at the last one. List of victims. This is called list of victims and missing. No, uh, yeah, the list of victims and missing. List of victims. Names of the dead are listed here. List of missing names of the missing are listed here. I don't think it actually shows anything though. Victims and the missing are divided into two lists. They're both pretty long. It's not even murder at this point. This is war. The kids call it revolution. That's just semantics. Exactly. Call it whatever name you please. In the end. There's still a mountain of bodies. But by calling it a revolution, they justify it in their minds and become even more brutal. By how you're talking, you seem to know these brats pretty well. You're talking about the Warriors of Hope who lead the Monokuma kids, right? From what I know, they were apparently students of an elementary school affiliated with Hope's Peak. Hope's Peak Academy? Why would that name come up now? What about it? Did something happen before? Not just something, but forget about it for now. It's a very long story. But more on the subject, I never expected the Academy to also have an elementary. They're not technically affiliated. Attending Hope's Peak Academy still requires being scouted. But the elementary was still prestigious. Many Hope's Peak Academy students came from there. The elementary studied the talents of children. Only child prodigies could attend. And how exactly are they prodigies? They're just a bunch of mental brats. I guess that just shows that having a great mind does not always make a great person or a child. A child's talent can easily be corrupted into something evil. Those five are the worst example. Actually, the Warriors of Hope were all in the classroom with the troubled children. 
Troublemakers, huh? Just as I thought. They were all deviants from the start. It might be more accurate to say that they own talent not even the teachers could control. And what makes it more horrifying is that they're still kids. They kill without guilt or mercy. You remember what you were like when you were children? How many cruel things you did? Insane because they're too pure. Uncontrollable because they're too innocent. Children with more potential than adults. With such cruel natures. How horrifying it would be if they were truly out of control. Toa City is an example of that. You... You think it's fun to threaten us? It's not like that. I'm just trying to tell you to be careful. Hm. That's none of your business. Yo, Shirakuma. I heard you were looking for me. Uh, hi, G. I heard you went outside again without my permission. Didn't I tell you it's dangerous? So, two more newcomers? Name's Haiji Toa. I'm the leader of the Resistance here. What a surprise. He's pretty handsome. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, Toko Fukawa. I hope we get along well. Okay, so I think we're going to stop here because I've written down that this is a pretty lengthy cutscene, so it's going to extend into next episode. Um, yeah, this is Haiji Toa, the uh, leader of the resistance, and yes, Toa, as in the Toa group. So, things are going to get pretty interesting when he explains, uh, you know, exactly who he is and what's going on with him. So, for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 14 of Let's Platinum Tongaromba Ultra Despair Girls. My name's Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.